some people have, uh, you know, wrote in to let me know that um, there's some unsatisfactory customers uh, that are, are not pleased with the integrity of the passes they've been provided uh, over the last week. And uh, I just wanted to bookend that and let everybody know that, listen, um, I understand that, you know, there may have been some issues. I feel like I, I feel like I was kind of forced to address that. Uh, 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 there was a lot of unhappy people with um, with with what they were provided with this, with the uh, the product they were given. And, and I suppose that's that's on me. But I just want to before we, you know, uh, before we zip it up and, and pass it along and, you know, uh, put the topic away. I just want to let people know that um, uh, I, can, I I hear your problems and I and I have a perfect solution for you. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, for those of you who are listening right now, I would like to introduce N Pass Plus and N Pass Premium, a service which you can subscribe to for a low monthly fee, in which you will be provided with not only all the benefits of owning your end pass but you will actually have a monthly refresher so that every 30 days you are guaranteed a brand new like it is an updating you know QR code it can be scanned to make sure that your pass is valid it is double checked against the database mm -hmm. and everyone scans it and goes beep a hey, Green light, you're good to go. It's, it's kind of like walking through the airport and swinging around your boarding pass. And they're like, hey, there it is. He's got the updated mm -hmm. one, right? That's what you got going on. And Pass Plus, pretty pretty handy service. You get it all together on a, on a monthly basis. And, pl and Pass Premium, however... If this is where we're the the big the big the big Johns comes in because you bring in you bring in your N plus plus services plus you get access to the unique uh, I'm, we're, we're calling it your face service it is your face you can determine what you would like your face to look like with any form any form of <laughs> any form of uh, uh, of modification, uh, whether that be, you know, color or simply any, you know, usually colors where we stick with it. Your face uh, coming soon to uh, end pass premium. Um, and we're currently looking at the we're, we're not we're not working on it. We're working on it. Uh, no promises yet, but we're currently working on um, possibly expanding end, pla end pass to include uh, other alphabet passes. So we will let you know about the passes for the rest of the alphabet mm. that might be included in the end pass premium service uh, coming soon. So um, please stay tuned and thank you for your uh, kind and loyal patronage. So uh, that's all good and well. What's the cost? Well, we're currently working that out at the moment um in terms of uh, uh dollar value we're not 100 percent certain but a pound of flesh is what we're operating with at the moment all right, all right. let's do that all right what's the modern day can we do some quick uh so I have I have some definitions for you, Wooly. Yeah, if we can do if we can do some quick um, uh, 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 um, market value estimations on um, uh, the approximate value of forty acres, and mm -hmm. uh, and 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 the the market cost for one mule, uh, if mm -hmm. we can figure out that exact current day value, I think we can start operating with a number. All right, so I I have I got I got uh, three problems for you. One is market, uh, and mm -hmm. two are legal. Okay. Number one is uh, if your if your uh, definitive cost is one pound of flesh, mm -hmm. you probably get that for like fucking three ninety down at the grocery store because you didn't specify a pound of what flesh. Right. And consume uh, considering it's illegal to sell human flesh. Right. I assume you meant flesh in general. Two, 
is uh, there. I, I I was looking up some legal terms while uh, you were doing this. Okay. You're definitely guilty of one. You're probably guilty of the second. First of all, the issue uh, with the original batch of passes and any subsequent passes in the face of legal or community opposition, uh, you're basically engaging in planned obsolescence. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. In industrial design and economics, it's a policy of planning or designing a product that has an artificially limited useful life. Mm. These things are not worth the paper they're printed on. You're okay. giving them out knowing that they will expire. And on top of that, I suspect that you knew that that first batch of passes would not go through well, which makes you guilty of racketeering. Because racketeering, according to the balance.com, what is racketeering from September 25th, 2019, is a criminal activity in which a person or organization engages in a racket. A racket is when a criminal creates a problem for others for the explicit purpose of solving that problem for money. So what you're saying is... You invented a fake pass specifically well, so no, that you could extort no. people when it became obsolete. Now, hold on. That's not what I'm hearing. What I'm hearing is, uh, the, the especially with, with the first definition, it's not that these passes are invalid. It is that they were valid give or take 100 or 200 years ago and no, Wooly, that they are currently no longer valid but there items there was a range are, of time in which their validity did exist however that time Wooly, that's not true that's the fine because print. you are the one signing those passes and you were born in the 80s that is past the ostensible validity of these passes, meaning there was never a point in time in which they were valid. So if, if you a are customer not in chooses fact guilty of plan to ignore you're the guilty expiration of date on the pass, passes, if the you would customer does not check the man, expiration date on the passes and does not read the fine pass. print and, and does not read all of the legalese, they are liable for their own own outcomes which Wooly, may vary putting something in fine print or putting something in a eula is not a legally actionable defense you which know is that why sure. it's not only on the eula sure. it is not only on the eula which you must scroll down and mash x to get through but it is also printed on the pass itself there is an expiration date and that expiration uh -huh. date dates back some 400 years ago but if the well, per, if the user of the pass does not pay attention to the fact that the expiration date is currently no longer valid, there is nothing that we here at at, well, at our at, at this humble mom and pop shop can do about that. You can't sell items like this. Isn't even planned obsolescence. This is innate obsolescence. You can't sell. Uh, uh, a fucking carton of milk and say this is milk right and the expiry date on date of sale is two years ago well that's illegal that's fraud well you're selling fraudulent passes and then you're trying to hit people with a racket in order to re-up their fraudulent passes well now well hey, hey now listen the digital collector's edition we're describing here is one that includes no physical objects to begin with. So quite frankly, you know, you can you can you can you can say all you want about you know the 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 the, the nature of of the past being a uh, 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 fraudulent, but you know if we say that like hey this this digital pass right here uh, is pending well it's pending there's a qr can't, code on it and and, and it's like you know maybe sell digital passes that would only be good prior to the invention of electricity. <laughs> like, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> You're getting your, you are setting yourself up for a class action lawsuit. A class action lawsuit. <laughs> yes, right. 
You sold a lot of passes over the last week, and they are bullshit. Um, People need to get their money back. Um, acres and mules. We deal with acres and mules over here. I don't... Nobody's got mules, dude. Well... That's why we do. I, some people have acres, but mules are like, who even has a mule? Like, I, does Plague even have a fucking mule? I mean, probably not. I don't, you know, it's got some kind of. Hey, you know, like this is an old timey, stupid question. It's more about real estate than racism. Mm -hmm. Isn't forty acres way more valuable than a single mule? Oh, fucking crazy! Like wild. Yeah, forty acres is insane. Like forty acres is a is a, a fucking chunk of land. It's a humongous chunk of land. It is. It is a. It is more than enough to like to have multiple fields that you can till it, and plow. So I'm not. I'm not super familiar with acres and hectares and all but that. But people, shit. people, people owned like hundreds of acres. You know what I mean? So, so uh, forty acres is 0.15 square kilometers. Can I get a photo of this? What is what is it in football fields? <laughs> In yeah. football fields. I mean, back, well, back, I back when here? we had a, a giant, empty fucking frontier, um, then it was like you can 40 just... 40 acres is a football field. Uh, no. Uh... No. No, a football field is one acre. Okay. So it's 40 football fields. Is that correct? I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah, I'm looking at like 10 different diagrams. One acre is about the size of a football field, give or take like five yards an acre, the... an acre is not a football field an acre is not a football field that's not i'm it. going to send you a fucking photo of a football stadium is a fucking acre you piece of shit lying fraudulent asshole hey man there there's a whole article here no don't don't be don't be hating on entrepreneurship entrepreneurship you're not even selling anything i am selling an experience I, you're selling an experience for yourself. I'm selling an experience. You're selling it to yourself. I'm selling it. Money. I am selling it to those who would pay to have this experience. Before you call into question my character uh -huh. as a simple, humble entrepreneur, one who is trying to just make its way onto Shark Tank so I can get in front of the sharks and say, who wants in on this? <laughs> All right. I'm just trying to get in front of the sharks and let them know. But uh, before you call that into question, I ask you to call into question the, 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 the values of my customers, my cherished dear. You're, you're right, Wooly. Obviously, it is the people buying your product on a goof, not the person who has commodified transactional racism. <laughs> if people want to purchase their NPass, NPass Plus, or NPass Premium, which now includes the Your Face service. Who am I to stop them? Who are you to stop them? There is more than enough fine print. There is an expiration date. Well, I, there is a clear just... cost. Supply I, I, and demand. I I, Supply and I demand. Know there are if family the... members of yours that are lawyers. You have buddies that are lawyers. Sure. Just putting fine print on things doesn't make it legal. You know that, right? You understand that. You can't just find you print cannot, things away. You cannot create a commodity that will sell to people and and not uh, and not acknowledge that if it's sold, it's because there was a you demand. You can't even create a commodity. It's a non-valid commodity. It's an experience. You're like selling people like wishes. It's an understanding. Or like unicorn tears. It's snake oil. It is a it is a cultural understanding. It's a movement. N word pass premium is a movement. <laughs> you don't get it. You just don't get it. You're not you're not up to it. You don't understand the way things are moving. You know, this is a digital world. How are they moving? This is a fat. This, this is a digital world. This is a, a world mm -hmm. of 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 constantly changing. There's apps. There's fucking. You know, like the 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 old dot com boomer days are behind us. We got new right. shit going on, and that's why we're working on an app. We're working on an app, but How's that's the app? what does the app even do? That's only for investors. That's only for investors. We don't, we're not going to talk about that publicly just yet. Who the fuck's going to invest in this shit? Oh well, you know, 
There's some people out there. This is there. de facto fraudulent there's, bullshit. There's some people out there that are looking to buy some shares. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There's some shares that are people people are trying to grab. You know. You're gonna go to jail over this shit. This is so obviously fraudulent. Quite frankly, I'm thinking of taking N-word Pass Premium. Uh, I'm thinking of taking it uh, private at 420. You meant public. You you meant public. Public funding secured. You meant at good. I'm good think, I'm business thinking, man. I'm th I'm thinking of good. taking it public funding secured. Quite frankly, uh -huh. the quite frankly, the stocks are too high right now. The N word oh. pass premium stocks are way too high right now. So I would say so. You know, Be careful saying that shit. You could you could wipe out some value. All right, funding fucking secured. We're getting in there. You need to you need to understand that there is a there is a. All right, so let me ask you then. What's the fine print? Say I, say I buy uh, today. You're selling the new and improved. Oh well, hey, I'm uh, I'm not the and, I'm not the legal premium. department here. I can't recite that off the top of my head. There's a lot of well, there's a lot of words. There's a lot of technicalities. You were just arguing legalese with me. You cannot now go say that you're not the legal department. There's Come a on, lot. Man. There's a lot of technicalities out it there that need to be worked out. I can have you can't it always it when you want, and then not when you don't. There's there is a lot to 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 you know and and, and let's be real it would take a lot. Also, time to go it's a company it. of you, so yes, you are the legal department. There are people right now that are working very hard to put yeah. food on their tables with uh -huh. what they are paid from the N Pass Plus Premium Service, and you name one are denying those people. Name one. <laughs> <laughs> name one name one salaried employee at N Pass Productions. That is not you. Min. Who do you want to throw <laughs> under the bus on this one? Min. Give me give me a single employee. Min AKA oh, well, He does it for free. <laughs> you can't count him. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm not here to divulge the personal lives of our employees and, and, and the places that um, this company is going. It's not about whether uh, 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 it's about whether you're on board or are not because we're going high. We're going places with this. This business is blowing up right now. And quite frankly, uh, if you're not, if you're not on, then I get it. That's fine. You're off. You're left in the dust. That's OK. But to those out there who understand uh, the nature of business, the nature of supply, the nature of demand, and of course, who understand that there is a clientele that is uh, uh, very, very adamantly looking around for their passes every time they go to a concert. Every time it's about, <laughs> every time the, they 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 hit they hit Any the favorite. Any concert? Yeah, a lot of concerts. A lot usually hip hop concerts. You know, you hit the okay. you hit you hit you hit the the the, the banger for the night. You're not you're, going down to Phil Collins. No, 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 no. no. You, but you hit up you hit up your favorite concert, and then you're just like, oh fuck, where was it? And then you're checking your pockets, and it's nowhere to be mm -hmm. found. And this is where you pull out the app, you flash that QR code, right? The screen automatically brightens. Someone walks over, goes beep, and goes, hey, look at that, it's valid. Okay, Wooly. You're now able I, to I, enjoy I have, your music. I have, a, I have a couple questions. All right. I might not Question have answers. Question number one. Have you settled on a price for the, the, the new end pass premium? Approximate market value, 40 acres and one mule. Okay. So that is... <sighs> approximate... Land value of 40 acres, Montreal. Quebec lots and lands for sale on Duproprio. We're looking at fucking a million dollars. Oh, well, hey, there's a lot of influencers. In Plus mule. There's Plus a, mule. Yeah, Mule's there, not a million dollars. No, there's, there's a lot of tic, uh, TikTok kids that are that are really, that, that, can, that can dump that easily. There's a lot. There's a lot okay, of hold on. fire fire festival on. folks that could that could uh, you know. Okay. Anyone so, who posted an orange photo. An orange photo? Yeah, they, they, those the the influencers who all like um, pushed the the fire festival uh, campaign. They all posted a picture, just an orange screen. On their, on their, mm. you know. Anyway, that's fine. Doesn't matter. All right. So I'm taking a look. And 
Ironically enough, Canadian fraud laws don't. I don't see have, why. We, why do we have to? Don't have dollar amounts associated with them. Uh, so the, it's a blanket. It's not the amount of fraud. It's just fraud. And you're looking at 14 years. Hey, listen. Held that deprivation is satisfied on proof of detriment, prejudice, or risk of prejudice. I don't. See it is why, not even essential. There is actual loss. Why you got to bring this negative energy in my sphere? Why you got to bring this energy in my space like this? You know, I don't. I don't understand why you can't just step aside or step on. Why you got to walk into the space and bring it down like this? I don't. I don't appreciate it. Really? I don't how many people do? You, how many people do you think can even afford like a million dollar pass? Well, that's why we have different price charts coming out. But we're right now we're talking about. Well, right I now, mean, we're, right now we're discussing. Right now we're discussing the forty acre and a mule value. You know, uh, but we can we can we can we can work out monthly payments. We can work out. Uh, you know, yearlies, we can figure it out based on your, so your I, own I'd individual situation. Like uh, uh, I'd like to thank Plague of Gripes for helping us out on some of the numbers here. Uh, he went and did some land research, uh, and he puts uh, the USDA average acreage in America at $3,200 an acre. Okay. So the N pass plus for the U.S. on average would cost $130,000. However... The nature of your acreage business plan means that the poorest areas are able to afford more passes. Mm. If you live in San Fran, I don't think anybody could afford that pass. Mm. If you live in shithole Kentucky, passes for all. So what you're saying is we have a sliding economic scale, scale system that uh you know that 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 changes from state to state well actually i mean if you're talking acreage i mean you got to set some kind of distance from their home location like state to state would probably work hmm. but like would it go city to city or like a county to county well, well, you know, now we're getting now we're getting into into real estate, quite frankly. And at that rate, I think what I would have to do is take it back to the board and uh, take a look and see, you know, uh, okay, if this area has this uh, uh, the has this type of value, then we only have this many passes for that area. But if this area so what has this kind of value, then we have a lot more passes for this area because the population is higher. So what you're higher. saying, Wooly, is that. Joe Exotic gets a discount and pass plus, but uh, he's Jeff a he's Bezos a does member. not. He's a premium member. He's a premium member. We, uh, you know, he's a uh, he's in there. Don't don't you, uh, you know? Listen, listen, listen. We don't we don't we don't we don't disclose. <gasps> Somebody asked in the in the in the chat. Ooh. This is a really good question. Are the passes region locked? Are they region locked? How far are you able to travel from the day from the place of purchase for your pass? Is it a ah. state? Is it a national pass? <laughs> is it a county pass? Is hmm. it a continental pass? <laughs> do you need to do you need to pay an extra fee when you go across state lines? Um, um okay, well as far as we're talking right now, uh, we are serving the continental United States, Canada, and Mexico. Um, okay, so no Hawaii. Go fuck yourself, uh, Hawaii. We are working with partners for with, that are going to work out their coverage zones. And you know how when you, you fly from here to, like, the States, and then your phone service switches? And it's like, hey, our partner... You're going to be going from Rogers the, to the AT regional and pass plus provider. Exactly. So, you know, if you're different, if you fly to Japan, you got to get Docomo to like uh, work with your phone services. Yeah. We, you got to work it through with those individual rate regions. You know, they have our, our partners that we're currently working with, you know, ideal, ideal situation is we grow the business. We work it, we get international, but we're not international just yet. So right now we're working with partners who uh, will handle the passes in your own respective regions, seeing as All right, so the 
Um, Let me ask you, because there's been a, the there's results been a lot in, re of this. in regions will change. Results change drastically did, from region did to region. Did you contact the anime girl VTuber database now and give that whole industry a free pass while playing GTA 5 and watching the Lamar cutscene? Now, it has come to our attention <laughs> that the anime VTuber realm has been in violation of not purchasing a pass and quite frankly uh we're looking into it it sounds possible th that they did not know what they were doing but ignorance as you would know i'm sure it's opening a browser in front of you is no excuse um when it comes to the law so uh, the the exact phrasing in uh, english law is usually ignorance is no defense of the law Exactly. So, you know, when we're looking at this, um, the, the situation right now with the VTubers, I, 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 I'm, again, we're not finished investigating it, but it seems that the local uh, Japanese uh, pass handlers will need, our partners over in, in Asia will need to uh, locate and at least contact, you know, perhaps with a cease and desist, to let these VTubers know that uh, they have not acquired a pass and to direct them to where they can do so. Or mm -hmm. cease all criminal activity. Cr Wait, no, hold on. Criminal activity? You don't have the legal authority to do that. No, you certainly don't. But hey, remember remember, remember when uh, a company stepped up and said, hey, we are the legal esports authority in Japan. And then J yeah. Japan was like, what? Nuh-uh. And then... They're like, yeah, no, you gotta, you gotta pay us to get esports money, and then all the players were like, no, you don't, and then all the companies that make the games were like, yeah, no, that's cool, and the players were like, please don't make these people real, and they're like, no, they're real now. So then they became the authority. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like that. I'm the authority on who can. You're the no, 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 no. I'm saying if if I'm if, like if some if, uh, if you're the authority. No, no, no. I was I was quotation. I was saying I was making. Like, no, 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 you're, 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 you're not letting me finish the statement, right? I, like, I'm saying, like, I'm the authority, says random company that appears, no the one in, in, the... in Asia, in Japan, right? No mm -hmm. one contests it. We yeah. are now the authority. I'm, 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 I'm reciting the, the precedent established by the JESU, right? And, um, it is established that, you know, we we saw it happen with esports. Mm -hmm. uh, I see no reason it can't happen with uh, VTubers. Well, I mean, it. it I mean, uh, you're going to be selling this this pass to uh, the the US, I assume, right? I mean, that's that's my target audience. There's another. Again, we work with our partners. You know, I I have bad news for you. Uh, you can't sell the rights to language in the United States. Oh, that's not what we're selling. Again, what are what are you selling exactly? An experience. What does the pass contain? A mo It's a. Is movement. it the experience of literally like holding the pass in your hands, or like? It's a vibe. Okay, you're selling a vibe. <laughs> Could you be slightly more specific? And soon, when our view, when our VTuber friends get access to N Pass Purasu. Uh huh. <laughs> Perhaps, you know, they will be able to play all the Grand Theft Auto they want uh, without. Well, Willie, the, your 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 product is becoming increasingly unclear. And in fact, I think you can sell the right to use certain language. Like I remember, Adobe was getting all assholey about Photoshop. As unclear yeah, I, as the usage of the word in question. I think the only solution to this going forward mm. to save yourself from racketeering trouble is that you will have to personally, that's Wooly Madden, must trademark and copyright the N-word. <laughs> I don't think, despite what uh, others have attempted to, to do, I don't think... Uh, we have been able to cross that boundary just yet. Uh, oh, you having trouble at the patent office? Well, um, it seems I've heard that attempts to, to trademark "you're fired" did not work. But at the same time, uh, the successful trademarking 
of let's get ready to rumble in the context of starting a competitive uh, uh, activity is valid. You understand? Yeah. So context appears to matter. And uh, I suppose... I got to say, every time I ask you a question, your past gets shittier and shittier. Well, well It doesn't I, seem to be I, worth a million dollars. Well, here's what really. I'm saying. An attempt to trademark your fired did not work in general, right? But an attempt to trademark... Um, like let's get ready to rumble did work in the context of an opening of a competitive sport therefore i don't know if we can work through the possibility of owning the word itself but we can definitely use it and own it in context and in the same way that you have it in context of a uh, competitive match starting the context of at a concert the context of uh you know it, 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 when when what what do you you can, what do you, you can you can contextually is... Uh, perhaps. What is your response to the claims that you do not have the authority to issue such passes, especially for money? Well, what at the end of the day, what what who determines what the authority is? I'm going to say not you. OK, <laughs> OK, OK, that's fine. That's fair. Ideally, but there there does not appear there would be a form of governing there, body. There, there appears this. to be no governing body that can actually determine what is what in this scenario. Therefore, he who takes the napkin first determines the pace. Are you upset that I'm taking the napkin? Are you upset that I'm determining the pace? No, I'm not. All my actions are those of justice. I am unclouded in my conviction. You have to understand. Mm hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Wooly, I you might in fact be guilty of a crime right now. by trying to sell these passes in Canada. Section 319.1 of the Canadian Criminal Code states that publicly inciting hatred is a criminal offense. It is an offense to communicate statements in a public place which will incite hatred against any identifiable group where it is like Pat, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Pat, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Uh, you're, I can't. Your mic's not working anymore. It seems like your mic's not working anymore. Something's wrong. Um, I don't know if the mic issues you had earlier today are coming back to, to haunt you, but I don't know if you worked it out completely. It seems like you might have... It seems, it seems like you might have some issues, folks. Uh, we're working it out right now. We're working it out. Um, let's see. Hello? Are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, we had some issues. Hey, I was able to post the Wikipedia uh, documentation of the uh, hate crime statute you're violating right now in the chat. Uh, if you want to take a look at that. I don't. We don't. Hate crime statute. What do you even? How am I in violation of anything? What do you, what do you even get on about? What is that? You, Where does that law apply? That law applies because you're communicating statements in a public space which incite hatred against identifiable groups. That is, dumbasses dumb enough to buy your pass. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Also, i.e. I. E. non-black folk. How do you know? Hey, hey, who said what? What? B black? Who the fuck is talking about? No one said anything about black anything. What do you even? What What does this have to do with any of that? At oh, this no is point, some new. Form at no of point Dissonce. did I this say the word black anywhere. You just said that for the first time in this conversation. What does black have to do with it? Yes, I'm black. And what? So you're how is that saying... relevant? You're. Saying I don't even understand that how that's black relevant. Black has nothing to do with it. 
I would be able to start up my own N Pass Plus. Secondly, yours. Secondly, you're talking about laws that apply. How do you know I'm not in the Cayman Islands right now? How do I you can know? see you in your apartment right now. Yeah, well, you don't know if that's the same fucking background that was put else put somewhere else. You don't what, know if I moved my shit. to dodge local laws? Do I own pass? a green screen? You do. So what do you know? You don't know anything. Also, who knows whose name is on the also, ownership? Regardless of that, Willie, you are broadcasting to the internet, which means you would be in violation of any particular law if you were to ever come back to that country. Nah, you again. You don't know. You don't know whose name is on the LLCs. And the LLC but you're, means you're, limited you're physically, liability. literally promoting it with your voice. Listen, you <laughs> I said. Can see you. You I can literally see you right now. <laughs> you said something, something, something black, and I'm like, what? I don't know what you're saying. Anyways, listen. N plus, N pass plus, N plus premium, you face. It's a vibe. It's an experience. It's a movement. Those who know, understand. They get it. What do you get with you face? Like literally, like what do you get? It's it's I mean it, it, you face, you know, um you you face is a way of 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 uh -huh. interfacing with reality um uh -huh. in in ways that you might not have ever experienced. It's it's a way of uh changing the way you experience the world while the world also changes like it's the a way. pair of glasses. The world changes the way that it sees you. So uh -huh. you face is <laughs> Yeah, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening. You you face you face is a simple, you know, it's 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 I mean yeah, there's... are there terms and conditions to you face? Are I there mean, limits to you well, face? Okay. Like there, there might be a product. There might be some instructions. There might be okay. You know, um, again, it all sort of depends. But but you face is about a uh, 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 trying. You know, it's it's we have some experts that have figured out um, some really uh -huh. cool ways to change the way you perceive reality and to change the way reality is well like, no one's gonna you. buy it based off this vague bullshit when no, you get that, the I fucking mean, you face you'd pass. be surprised what a nice infomercial running at uh for for hours after 4 a.m would do <laughs> yeah okay yeah you know you're right you that's, know that's... and 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 that's it man you know but what do you get with it you get how specific is it you get you get it i, I can't give away trade secrets you know why well, you literally have to define a product for people to buy it or else it's false advertising it's not what do you get with the you face pass i'm i'm i think i can sell um ideas and implications and i think <laughs> that people can grasp what they want to grasp from these ideas and implications and uh they might like what they think and if they like what well, they okay, think, but, but here's they'll, the thing, they'll though, get right? If you are selling ideas and implications, you need a fine print on that that's pretty explicit. So let me ask you, what does the youth face pass not come with? All right, so at this point in the commercial, you'd see an old couple fishing. Yeah. You'd see uh, a family riding their bike, you know, riding, yeah. riding their, with their helmets. And mm -hmm. uh, you'd see uh, a cute kid playing with a puppy. And, sure. um, you know, and then you'd, you'd see, um, you'd have a really good, uh, uh, person doing a voiceover speaking really, really fast about, mm -hmm. um, the side effects, terms and conditions, things that, you know, yeah, may, you, may yeah. not apply and, and all the, all the, all the, you know, everything involved. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, we'll then cut back to these people. And at the end of their wholesome activities, that family lays out a blanket uh, in a park, and then we see that the old couple fishing is actually right next to the family on their on their picnic with their bikes, which is also right next to the kid with his puppy with the frisbee. And then it's gonna be they're all gonna turn to the camera and be like, "You face, my life that's is it? better with it." That's but that you it's not even you didn't even say anything. What well, do you, what do you get? You got people are gonna buy a, a nothing. You have to actually say what the fuck you you. Like, okay. why are you so, if you're proud of your product, 
Why are you so reticent to describe it in any way? Talk to your end pass provider about you face that's you all are we're my saying. end pass provider you got it you got to my knowledge there's... you're literally the only end pass provider around there is there is there is there is uh, uh uh um confidentiality privileges between the providers and their customers and we don't really want to you know it's like you know you can advertise beer by having people hold it but you can't have them drink it I do, yes. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Like we don't, you, you don't. That's need... because that's a controlled substance. Yeah. So in this case, are you saying that the federal government of Canada has recognized your N-word pass as a controlled substance? I'm saying that uh, you you should that... possibly addictive. I'm saying that the the, the <laughs> what we're gonna need to let people know the most we can let them know right now is that they should um, talk to their N pass providers about UFace and to see if it's right for them. All right, Wooly, I will buy you a pizza that makes you my end pass provider. I waive my confidentiality rights. Uh, what do you get with you face? I don't. That's not. We have not worked out. Do you the not details. have confidence describing your product to your possible buying audience? Well, I we do. But again, we're working out the legal. We don't want to say anything that would get us in trouble. Wooly, you, know. you literally said you're selling it this week. That shit has to be done already. No, we sold the old passes last week. We are introducing the new services and the okay. new services... Do you get a refund or do you have to go up for the new service? Oh, yeah, you can totally get a refund. Okay. So anyone who wants a refund on a pass that Wooly sold them, feel free to ask for it. Yeah. Um, yeah, refunds, refunds are, you know, that's, come on now. You just got to, of course, show the receipt of purchase. Mm -hmm. Um we... And you obviously sold these with receipts, otherwise you'd be in violation of tax law. Well, you gotta, you gotta have receipts, folks. You yeah. gotta have an invoice. You know, if there happens to be any blood on that invoice, I don't. Know. That might be a little bit icky. So I don't know about that. But in general, well, actually, no. Then you would. Then you might uh, run the risk of uh, being liable for damages as a result of your faulty product, which you started the podcast saying that the passes didn't take. Now, 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 that is not liability. That's on the record. That is not liability. If if someone, hey, there has never not been a very clear statement that, about the varying of results and that results may vary. And when those results come to fruition, uh, uh, there is no liability on behalf of well, like, and unless Plus you and Pass Premium or you face physical damages in a recall that doesn't count. <laughs> We'll see what the judge has to say about that. You know, that's what I say. I would love to see you talk to a judge about this. Uh, that would be the best transcript ever. <laughs> that would be so great. Our customers oh. are entitled to what they deserve. A great experience. <laughs> That's a good, that's a good line. How do you, how do you feel uh, uh, about the, the, the statement um, uh, that you are uh, uh, fanning the flames of, uh, of, uh, what am I, hmm, let's be careful with our words here. How how do you feel Fanning the flames about the, of... the implication that you may be in fact race war profiteering? Fanning the flames of wood that might be stuck into the ground in a certain recognizable formation, perhaps a religious one. Fanning those flames? I actually don't. I'm not. I'm not religious. Oh, there it is. There yeah. it is. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Took a second. All right. Lag. All right. All right. Fanning, fanning, the, fanning, well, Wooly, fanning those flames. I I look forward to Pat. The... If I am fanning those flames, then perhaps we should grab. Oh, I don't know. Uh, a water hose with a okay. lot of pressure. Plug it right into the fire hydrant 
and extinguish that fire because that's what fire hydrants are for. Okay. Fire hydrants are there to 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 blast water really hard mm -hmm. and to spray so we can out all those fires. You know? Well, Willie, uh, I uh, think your business model is terrible. I think we can grab some dogs. That'll help us find survivors if there's any left in the I in the, in don't the, think in you're the actually going to have much success with your, your, current, your current business plan. We got some dogs ready to find um, anybody. Yeah. And I look forward to your ongoing attempts to monetize digital shoe polish. Thank you. I Hey, listen, I... I uh, appreciate uh, is that some sort of metaphor i'm not sure i don't know i mean do it you... is not a metaphor <laughs> it is a just direct statement uh i don't understand what the metaphor is but i appreciate your support i appreciate uh your uh vote of confidence and i don't believe you i appreciate your patronage so after all you offered to you know you you did well unless literally, you could, I offered you a pizza. You literally to offered your business. Plan. You literally offered to participate. So I wait I, a second. Wait I a second. Wait a second. Are you telling me that you cut the fucking price down from forty acres to that of a pizza? I'm saying that if anyone were to look through our books to see the record of customers, uh, we have uh, one Pat Boyvin on the record at the very least. He might owe us a little bit more that he hasn't paid yet, but he's on the list of customers. Uh huh. He's on the list, you know? I mean, again, we have people that signed up, started their deferred payment plans that haven't paid us yet. They're still on the list, even though they haven't paid us yet. A pizza is part of the cost. It's not the full cost, but you're still on the list of customers. And with that information, you know, uh, if we ever were to, I don't know, get hacked or something and have all that information get leaked out or whatever, I don't know what how that would- What are you doing? I don't know how that would happen. Now? I don't know what would happen. That's crazy. <laughs> Right? It would be ridiculous. We have secure servers and we have uh, fucking, uh, we have, uh, you know, two, two, two factor. But if anything were to leak out, a list of customers, y your name would be on it. So y thank you for your patronage. I'm just explaining that that sentence has a meaning. You say that when I offered you a pizza that's a legally binding contract? I'm saying despite that... Despite the fact you didn't uh, follow up on your end of the deal? I'm saying that you offered to participate in the program. We uh, can we can work out the rest of the payment details later, but as far as we're concerned, uh, you know, you're on, you're on board. Wait, wait, hold on. People are customers if they walk into your office and leave without buying anything? What kind of fucking mentality is that? Uh, if you start your down payment... If you're, if you are, if you pay, you know, are you eating a pizza right now? I Willie? am not. But if you start your payment process, then, you know, the process has started. We got to gather your information to make your file. Once we make your file, it's in there and it just says you owe us your a lot business more. This seems really shady, dude. A lot of things are shady. A lot of things are shady. It's a vibe, it's an experience, it's a movement. Our customers get what they deserve. And Plus Plus. <laughs> and Plus Premium. You face coming soon. There's got to be some kind of severe ass fine print on you face cuz I know you're not selling the full package. <laughs>